Hello, everybody. Uh, I just wanted to, I don't know how many people were aware of this, but an air handler can make a lot of water, especially if it's uh, hot and humid out. But you can get a little bit of water even when it's not real hot and humid if you're running your air conditioner. So, you know, I think you can see what I did here. I just disconnected it and, um, you know, used a simple water bottle and have it wedged in. It's falling in a bucket here. Um, I'm probably, right now it's August here in southwest Florida, and I'd say on average I'm probably creating 50 gallons a day of water. Now you might say, well gee, why would you ever use that? I mean, most of the time if there was an emergency, if you don't have water, you're not going to have electricity. However, there are some scenarios where you might still have electricity, but the water's cut off. You know, maybe some kind of terrorists put, you know, poison in the water supply, or, you know, who knows, okay? But anyway, if you have electricity, this is a way to make water if your water supply is cut off by using the air handler. So as you can see, you know, it's the water's, it's clear. It tastes like water. There's no funny taste. I would probably put it through a filter if possible if I was going to drink. I wouldn't worry about it if I was doing dishes, uh, using it to bathe or something like that. I don't think I'd worry about it. If I was giving it to the dogs or myself to drink or cook with, I'd, I'd want to run it through a filter, definitely. But it is pure fresh water. Um, you know, it's coming off the coils in the air handler, and, you know, I don't know if there's anything on that. In fact, if anybody knows anything about the quality of this water off the air handler, let me know. I've looked on the Internet, and there's not, like, a whole lot of information out there about this. So if you know anything about it, please, you know, put some comments about the quality of the water and anything you, you happen to know about it. Um, you might ask, well, did I just do this just to show you? No, actually, I have it set up like this for a while, uh, probably for another month or so. What happens here in southwest Florida, it gets so hot and so humid by August that it overwhelms my air handler. And this air handler has been cleaned, the filter has been changed. You know, I've had a lot of work done in my air conditioner the last three or four months. And even then, this air handler's gotten overwhelmed. It just can't handle the amount of humidity. And what's happening, we're starting to back up and then I get leaks. So when that happens, and I usually have to do this every year in August, I set this up and then I just dump the water out out the back door. So I usually dump once in the morning and then I dump at bedtime. And this will get filled up, you know, about to here if I'm not checking on it, which makes it a little too heavy to deal with. But this is an example, so if you ever need to create water when you got electricity, this is an easy way to do it. Of course, it's easier when it's hot and humid out, but you could create a little bit even when it's not. All right, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know. Thanks.